You guys all have weird names. All right, it's time to Batmobile. Yeah, it has. Yeah, hey everybody. Don't get too close. See you guys. I hope the car is performing to your high expectations. Oh, actually, Lucius, she's a little sluggish. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. Give me a few moments, and I'll bring the afterburner function online. Thanks, Lucius. It was good of you to stay behind. You want to thank me, Mr. Wayne? Just try not to hurdle off the road. I should have some more upgrades ready soon. That is Dave Fenoy playing Lucius Fox. That's Lee. That is Lee. What the hell? That was Lee from The Walking Dead. Telltale's The Walking Dead. I took a picture with him the other day. <laughs> What the hell? That is amazing! I did not know he was Lucius Fox in this! You will not be spared. Alright. Calm down, Scarecrow. Already won. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, did seem pretty easy. Oh, hey, I got a secret entrance to the clock tower here. Alright, oh, this is where Oracle is. Oh, no way. That's seriously like the... <laughs> it's like the, uh... The, the original series, Batman TV show. It's through that. Who's that? Is that Robin or something? Time to use that and slide down the pole. Oh, well, it's a little bit more high-tech than that. Dude. What the hell? Alright. This is a little... Technically advanced. Technologically advanced. My god. Alright, what are we doing here? Breaking down the molecule... Molecular structure of the... Do I come in the Batcave and start thing? messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It will show where Scarecrow is creating a sphere toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. Mm-hmm. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. Hmm. I've read the killing joke before. That was pretty fucked up. <laughs> what the Joker does to Barbara. All right. Away I go. That was easy enough. Jim. We've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. Soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. All right. So hold RT one. How was it here last time Scarecrow hit Gotham? What happened? It was bad. Guy took over a school and pumped the place full of his, you know, fear stuff. What a freak. Time for the Batmobile, buddy. Nice. Boom. How's the afterburner doing? Just gives me a little bit of a nitrous boost. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, parked car. Yeah, blow up. Somebody's going to come back to Gotham City and they're not going to have a car anymore. Sorry, Mr. Fireman. I'll, I'll do your side thing at some point. Sorry, I destroyed some cop cars as well. Uh, alright. Oh. oh, shut up, Scarecrow.
I don't fear anything, you son of a bitch. Except for all those things I fear. And that I'm afraid of. Huh? Yeah. I thought. Is it starting up? Alright, that thing... Melted like butter. The generator's damaged. I need to bypass it and power the antenna directly. Ooh, some hacking Hello games. Again, Mr. Wayne. How can I help you this time? <laughs> Is the power winch ready for deployment? It's 100% functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. <laughs> Batman forever. Mind. It's in the job description, Mr. Wayne. Batwing's on its way. Ooh. Collect the power winch from the Batmobile. I have to go all the way over there. <clears throat> Can I just call it over here? Is it? I thought it was. Shots fired. Well, it's over here exactly. I'm kind of confused. I'll have to bring the, the Batmobile over there. Gorcha. Woo! Batman's here, everybody! Let's just call that Batmobile over here. Brought it most of the way. Okay, where are we going? Oh, it's Bat. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Lucius. Lucius. You spoil me with these insanely sexy tank-like vehicles. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Power winch. Pulls down obstacles, it moves heavy obstructions, delivery, delivers high-powered AC electrical uh, energy supply. Gotcha. Jesus. Oh, I want to fly that, please. <laughs> I'll improvise. Okay, this is gonna be Batman forever. Point of function. Once it's attached, just hit reverse. Okay. And please be careful with the car, Mr. Wayne. She's one of a kind. Man. I am just gonna be hearing Lee the entire time. Fire power winch! Ahoy! Okay. What? Not pulling that over, Batman. Batman, your wanted destruction is too much. What's happening there? Oh, it looks like a jump I'm about to hit here. Alright, here we go. Well, I did not quite make it. <laughs> Seems I needed a bit more of a running start there. Bam. Made it that time. Uh, all right. Could you? Yeah. Let's say. Could we flip it? Am I doing more power winching here? Fire in the winch. What the fuck? I have another ramp here. What the hell? I am. Oh my goodness. This is. Ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Woo! Jesus, I'm breaking all this glass. Kind of spooked. I feel like I'm gonna break everything. <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me, thing that was in my way. I guess I could have just driven through it, probably, but... Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> Might be, I was about to say, I have to be winching something here. The anchor point is secured to the wall. I can't move it using the Batmobile, but maybe it can hold the car's weight. What? Can I? Oh my goodness. 
Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. That was nuts. That was crazy. Oh, whoops. I have to follow this thing. Ah, shit. Gotta be calm on the joystick here. Or on the, uh, the trigger here. There we go. A little mini game. Alright, we're getting it powered. Oh, yeah. I'm still revving it. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great. I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. We can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. <laughs> is the antenna ready? Yeah. But we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone's shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. All right. Well then. So is that going to stay? Use the antenna at Falcone's shipping yard to locate Scarecrow. There's so much going on. I love it. I tried to do the cool in between the the train track thing there. It did not quite work out as well as I had planned. I'm trying to fly with style a little bit. What is that sound? Jesus. Yeah, I figured. Figured you would come back eventually. Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. That happens, this whole okay. operation falls apart. What do we need him for? For the hostage? Contingency plan, in case the bat shows up. Yeah, He's like texting out. So. Scarecrow's Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. I need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. You kidding me? I can't even look at the guy. Woo! Okay, swing between vantage points, quickly survey the environment. Swing between vantage points. If I, I know how to do this. Them, they'll be easier to take down. Remote control battering. I'm assuming I'm using this. Throw a batarang within earshot of the armed enemies to lure them outside. I guess I could just use a regular batarang. I guess they didn't hear it. Hey, you hear that? Someone's out there. Damn straight. Yes, Go take a look. The door stays locked. I'm taking no chances. Got it, boss. Alright, time to weed them out. Glide down behind our enemies, take them out silently. Oh, I know exactly how to do that. Remember, he's just like me or you. You put a bullet in him, he's going down. Hey, it's just like me or you, except for Extremely rich and well trained. Silent take down time. Go to sleep. Go to Just sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, my little baby. Seems like he's gonna come back around. I think you gotta believe me, those. I guess he's just hanging out there waiting for me to take him down. All right, sounds of plan. Hello, good night. Whoa. Soldiers inside. They think they're safe if they stick together. Ooh, what am I doing here? Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. <laughs> Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. Jesus, he's very demanding of Lucius. Alright. Time to go pick up my new, uh, my new digs. 
Oh, here it comes. Well, they're gonna definitely hear this. The bat coming in and dropping off a new suit. If they didn't hear that, then I'd be very surprised. Oh, man. Here it comes. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Lens flares. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So he had to strip completely naked or this is going over his other suit? Jeez. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's just sitting right there. He like... He's right outside. Anybody could just walk out. I mean, there aren't too, too many people there, but I get it. Dude. Dude. Yeah! What a badass! Well, oh my Wayne, god. Let me walk you through it. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium dip tri weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. <laughs> the suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. <laughs> awesome. Speaking of which, the new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. <laughs> oh my goodness. How's it feel, Mr. Wayne? Holy hell. I activated the AR training program. Should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in? Oh, uh, breaking it in wouldn't be too bad. This, uh, grapnel boost MK2. Throw counter. Why does that look like the animated series Batman? That does look like that is the animated series Batman. Let's do the, uh, Grapnel Boost MK2, Mark II. Uh, become a master of the skies, Grapnel Boost Mark II. Test your aerial supremacy at the full, uh, to the fullest as you grapple, glide, and dive across the Gotham skyline. I can't wait to get pissed off doing this. Simulation activated. Woo! Jesus. Dude. Oh, shit, 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 shit. This is nuts. This suit is amazing. What am I doing? Grapnel and dive and dive, touch the ground. 60 seconds. It shouldn't be too tough in theory. Probably should, you know, grapnel on something at some point here. Oh shit. Well. Not too tough. When there's so many things. So much you can grapnel too. I better get to something quick though, because I'm losing altitude here. Please, please, something, something. Shabam! Dude, that thing is nuts. The fact that I can gain altitude from all this stuff, like, seriously, is crazy. Well, that was easy. I figured I was gonna get pretty. Figured I was gonna get pretty wrecked there. I just remember doing the AR training for the last one, and I was just oh, fear. What's the fear for? Am I upping my fear? View upgrades. Character bios. Wayne Tech screen. Cool. Uh, I have two Wayne Tech upgrade points. Should probably focus on. Early on, I generally like to do the bat suit. I mean, it's good to get like takedowns and stuff that way you can earn points. It's a faster. Um, what are these? Something like that. Oh, okay, it says the Wayne Tech points on them required. Uh, ballistic armor level one. Does that mean I already have it? No, I don't. Uh, provides a 25% increased bat suit's ability to withstand firearm damage. 
grapple takedown, grapple to a ledge nearby an enemy, transition directly into a takedown. Or unleash a fear multi-takedown to surround the enemies as well. This move can be used. Okay. Uh, melee armor level 1 provides. Okay. Um, you know what? I, I imagine I'll get shot at some point here. Um, I'll do those two. And then I'll start using points on combat and stuff like that after the fact. But Critical strikes. I was always terrible at critical strikes. I've never been good at critical strikes. Man, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Super eject level one. Oh my goodness. Do you see how high he flew? Oh man. Okay. <laughs>